Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. What's your business, Engine? Me come by, Grub. Then buy it and get going. We don't want no engines in this town after dark. Sheriff Lake, he know me. Tonto. Tonto, huh? Well, Sheriff Lake's out of town, Tonto. I'm running things around here. Now, come sundown, you better be long gone, savvy? Hello. Hello. Hi, Pete. Oh, hello, John. You're right on time. <laughs> Sounds like you're surprised. <laughs> Where's the strong box? It's right here, just as snug as a bug. Hey, Charlie, have somebody look at my lead horse. Acts up like you might have split a hoof. Hey, engine, come here. Oh, uh... Allow me, ma'am. Welcome to Powder Bend. Oh, but thank you very much. Hi there, son. How old are you? I'm nine, going on ten. She's my mom. We came all the way from Dodge City because my pop was killed by a bad man. Tommy, is there anyone that can help me with my luggage? Sure, I'll be glad to, ma'am. Just a minute, John. Engine, help the lady with her baggage. It's in the boot back there. Hey, uh, John, come here. Let's get this infernal cash in there and put it in your safe. This stuff's been burning my feet for the past two days. <laughs> All right, Nate. Excuse me, ma'am. Come on, Tommy. We'll go over to the hotel and register first. And then we have some business to attend to with Mr. Morgan. Ah, uh, boy, that's the prettiest color in the rainbow, that shade of green, ain't it, Morgan? <laughs> How much is that? 10000 well, Who does all that money belong to? Bank at Coldwater. I'm shipping it over in the morning. Well, I'm sure glad I don't have to tote that any further. <laughs> I'm tired of stretching my luck. <laughs> Say, Pete, uh, who was that lady you brought in? Oh, uh, oh, that was uh, Jenny Houston. She's a widow woman. She came here from Dodge City to get away from the shooting and kill it. Uh, she's going to open a cafe. In that case, I guess you'll be stopping in to look over some of the property I have. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. We we'll say you better work fast, Morgan. Because she is the prettiest woman in Beckett County. <laughs> Raise your hand. Hey, you. Get over there with him. How do you like that? I come all the way from Dodge City without a speck of trouble, and the minute I get in... Do what I big... tell you. Oh, he ain't no regular outlaw. He's just a beginner. Look at the way he's shaking. Shut up, old man. Old oh, man, he says. Huh. Why, you young coyote. I'll... Stand back. Don't you try anything funny. All right, take the money and get out. Mr. Morgan. Stay where you are, lady, and keep your mouth shut. Oh. Do it. Spin. No, no, no. You shouldn't have done that, lady. Oh, don't. Don't, please. I heard a shot. What's going on in here? Where's the bandit? He ran into the alley. Room. But you better get a doctor. Pete's been hurt, too. Get the doctor. Are you all right, Pete? Well, yeah, I'll be all right. But what happened? What did happen, ma'am? I came here looking for Mr. Morgan, and the bandit was emptying that safe. Then he shot Mr. Morgan. Oh, don't move. The doctor's on his way. I'm all right. Any idea who the bandit is? He was masked. I saw his face, but I wish I hadn't. It was evil, cruel. It was lucky for me you came running in when you did. You'd have killed me. Maybe the engine knows something about this. No, me not know. Came here to buy grub, eh? I think you and that masked bandit are working together. That is why. Please. He's innocent. I'm sure of it. You don't know these engines, lady. You're under arrest. Hand back. You tell the truth. Time to innocent. <laughs>
Me ride north from Powder Bend and look for trail of Bandit. Me find. Bandit keep riding north. You say the woman who arrived on the stage saw the bandit's face. Ah, she see. We come in nick of time or he kill her. He knew that if he were caught, she could identify him. Tano, one thing puzzles me. Why the deputy didn't form a posse and go after him? Uh, me think deputy cowardly man. Maybe even bad man. He's had a good start on us. But if we ride fast, we may catch up. Come on. Tano. Many hoof prints. The bandit tied his horse to that tree. And judging from the cigarette stubs, he waited here for more than an hour. And the hoof prints vanish on trail. Where bandit go? There's a shortcut over there leading through the woods. Hoof prints go south. The bandit waited here until nightfall. Now he's riding back to Powder Bend under the cover of darkness. Maybe to kill woman. Maybe. Let's go. John Morgan, Mrs. Houston. Oh. Well, good evening, Mr. Morgan. Good evening, Mrs. Houston. Come in. How do you feel? Much better now that I'm all patched up. Oh. Well, won't you sit down? I don't mind if I do. I still feel a little wobbly. You shouldn't be out this evening. Not after all you've been through today. I guess I was a little restless. I remembered I hadn't thanked you for saving my life. Well, I'm afraid I don't deserve your thanks. I don't know what came over me, really. Throwing myself at that bandit. I'm terribly afraid of guns. All the more reason I'll be holding to you, ma'am. Well, I, I was just unpacking some things to make sure they weren't damaged. See, not a nick, which proves that Pete's a very careful driver. There. Now it seems more like home. I'm glad you've come to Powder Bend, Mrs. Houston. You'll help to make it a real community. The kind we'll all be proud of someday. Don't count on me for that, Mr. Morgan. I'm not sure I'm going to stay in Powder Bend. Because of what happened this afternoon? Don't forget, I saw the bandit's face. He knows I can identify him. If he'd had one more moment, he'd have killed me. How do I know he won't come back again? You're letting your imagination run away. He's probably miles away by now, leaving Powder Bend as far behind as he can. I wish I could be sure of that. We can't be sure. But why don't you stop believing the worst is going to happen? Uh, I'll stop being afraid. Look at things this way. You got off to a bad start in Powder Bend, but that's usually a good sign. I'm not superstitious, but perhaps you're right. Mr. Morgan, be careful. Mom, I heard a shot. Golly, the clock. The bandit came back. Oh, Tommy, get away from that window quickly. He's gone. I'll get a deputy. Now stay in this room and lock the door. Wait. Do me a favor, please. Find Pete and tell him I'm leaving Powder Bend with him tonight. And Tommy, dear, go get dressed. But where are we going? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I do know. We'll go as far as we can with Pete, and then we'll take a train to San Francisco. Oh, Mom. You aren't going to let that bandit scare us out of town, are you? Now, you do as I tell you. All right. Say it. I'm a coward. No, Mrs. Houston. I wasn't thinking that, but... Well, maybe the boy's right. But he's just a child. If anything happened to me, what would become of him? I guess you know what's best to do, ma'am. Hello, Morgan. What do you boys got on your mind? The bandits back in town took a pot shot at Mrs. Houston. Just now from the alley in back of the hotel. Is that a fact? Well, let's do something about it. Sure. Sure, you boys take the south road. I'll ride north and have a look around through the hills.
about time you got here. We're beginning to get worried. I wouldn't double cross you, Bowman. Take my advice and don't ever try it. Is the money all here? Well, why don't you count it yourself? I'll count it later. Hey, wait a minute. I'm flat busted and I want my cut now. Don't be a fool, Waco. This is paper money with serial numbers. Here, buy yourself some grub and find a room. I got a job all lined up for you tomorrow at Jensen's livery stable. Well, that's a fine idea, but it won't work. I tangled with a dame over in Morgan's office and she's seen my face. Yeah, that was real smart of you. You shot Morgan, why not her? Well, everything happens so fast that I... Look, I gotta get going. Calm down. I tipped the lady off with a bullet to get out of town. She'll be on her way tonight. Yeah, but what if she ain't? If she ain't, she'll wish she had been. Now, stop worrying. Do what I say and with my setup in this town, we'll clean up. Uh, this is great. 5,000 hit away and our work in a stable. for that gun. I'm a friend of Sheriff Lake's. If you're on the side of the law, what's the idea of that mask? You must believe me. I am on the side of the law, but I don't wish my identity known. Where is Mrs. Houston? Why do you want to know? Please trust me. Mrs. Houston may be in grave danger. How do I know you're not the reason why? My friend Tano told me what happened here today. Would he have come back here, and would I have come with him if we were in league with the bandit? We've been trailing him. He's just ridden back to Powder Bend. Just ridden back? He took a pot shot at Mrs. Houston right after sundown. Right after sundown? We organized the posse, been looking for him ever since. He seemed to vanish into thin air. Something's wrong here, Morgan. At sundown, that banner was miles away from Powder Bend. Someone else fired that shot at Mrs. Houston. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Would a bandit ride back to the scene of his crime in broad daylight? Well, no, but I don't understand. Why would anyone else want to frighten Mrs. Houston out of town? It looks as though the bandit had an accomplice. That's not possible. Outside the bandit, there hasn't been a stranger in town all day. And then his accomplice has been someone who lives here in town. Someone you regard as a law-abiding citizen. That's pretty hard to believe. Who could it be? Once we catch the bandit and Mrs. Houston identifies him, he'll tell us. I'm afraid she won't be much help in that quarter. She's leaving on the stage tonight in just about a half an hour. In that case, I'd better have a talk with her right away. Where can I find her? At the hotel. Wait. I trust you. But just the same, I'll go along if you don't mind. Suit yourself, Morgan. Who is it? John Morgan, Mrs. Houston. Open the door, Tommy. You're just about ready to leave, Mr. Morgan. Hello, son. Golly. Now don't be frightened, Mrs. Houston. I've come here as a friend. Who is he? He has a reason for keeping his identity a secret. I think we should trust him. Him speak to. Him friend of Tonto also. What do you want? Mr. Morgan tells me you're planning on leaving town tonight. Yes, I am. I've come to ask you to stay, ma'am, and identify the bandit when he's captured. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I made up my mind. We're looking for more than just one man, Mrs. Houston. The bandit has an accomplice. A criminal who lives in Powder Bend masquerading as a peaceful, law-abiding citizen. Don't you want to see these men brought to justice? Yes, of course, but... Mrs. Houston, you were an eyewitness to the holdup. You were the only one who saw the bandit's face. Without your testimony, he and his accomplice can never be convicted. I know that, and so do they. They try to kill me once, and they'll try again. They may. They're desperate men. Why doesn't he leave me alone? Why is he trying to persuade me to stay here? I want what you represent to remain, Mrs. Houston. Decency. Law and order. Faith in the future. If you go, part of the civilization we're trying to build in the West will go with you. Stop it. I don't want to listen to you. Go away and leave me alone, please. Sorry, Mrs. Houston. I didn't mean for him to upset you. I, I guess I was a little over anxious for you to stay. Not just for the reasons he said, but, well, even though you just arrived, the town won't seem quite the same after you leave. I don't want to leave, Mr. Morgan. I have no alternative. I understand. Him 
Supreme Deputy. Say Tonto in league with Bandit. I think I'll have a talk with him. You better wait here. Don't let this mask fool you. I'm a friend of Sheriff Lakes. All right, mask man, so you're a friend of the Sheriff's. I don't expect you to believe me, so keep your hands high. Whatever you got on your mind, let's have it. The bandit who staged that holdup today has an accomplice. Someone who took that shot at Mrs. Houston. I believe that someone is living right here in Powder Bend. You're the deputy. Any idea who it could be? It ain't nobody that lives in Powder Bend. It's an engine named Taro. Can you prove that? I seen him right after the shooting. Riding off from town through the hills. I chased him for a couple of hours, but he got away. Any more questions? Yes, Beaumont. But I'll ask them later, just as soon as I bring in the bandit. Beaumont told me a lie, Tonto. He said he saw you leaving town just after the shot was fired at Mrs. Houston. Why him lie, Kimisabe? I'm not sure, unless he's the bandit's accomplice. If he is, he'll warn the bandit to get out of town. We watch. You take south road, me take north. No, Tonto. Beaumont saw me riding south. If the bandit has been warned by Beaumont, he'll take the north road. When he leaves, I'll ride north and lay in wait. You stay here in town and keep an eye on Mrs. Houston. Yes, Pete. I'm ready. Get inside, Tommy. Ah, oh, gosh, Mom. The masked man's gonna be awfully disappointed if we leave, especially if he catches the bandit. Do we have to go? Now, I don't want to argue with you. Do as I say and get inside. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, Mrs. Houston. And good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. engine. Get going. Hold it. Get back in here. Keep your trap shut. Remember, I got both guns on you. Everybody's friend, ain't you? Including the engines. What about the woman? She just left. That's a load off of my mind. Who's this joker, anyway? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Keep away from him. He's full of tricks. Well, what are you going to do with him? March him around behind the jailhouse and give him each a slug in the back. We can't get away with that, Beaumont. The gunshots will wake up the whole town. What of it? Everybody knows about the holdup. These are the men I arrested as suspects. When they tried to escape, I shot them. Not bad. All right, start walking. Coach, come back. Get back in here. One peep out of either one of you, and I'll let you have it. I'll help you, ma'am. Thank you. Watch it now. Yes, there it is. Come along, son. That's it. Well, I, I sure am glad that you changed your mind about leaving town, Mrs. Houston. Won't Mr. Morgan be surprised? Yeah, and I, I reckon he'd be glad, too. <laughs> Got the gun, 
Adams, darling. Uh, Beaumont. The other one's the bandit. Yes, ma'am. Beaumont is his accomplice. He is crazy. I don't know what he's talking about. I never saw this man before in my life. Why are you do He's lying. You don't know when to quit, do you, Beaumont? You'll find Morgan's money in a chest in Beaumont's cabin. One crook always turns on another, Beaumont. Being a deputy, you should have known that. Mom came back to identify the bandit, and we were going to stay here no matter how long it took you to catch him. You're proud of your mom, aren't you, Tommy? I'll say I am. You have the right to be. All right, you two, get going. Well, the next time I hire a deputy, I'll make sure he's an honest man. Thanks for taking such good care of the town while I was away. We did the job the way you would have done it, Sheriff Lake. Thanks for the compliment. Bye, Tommy. Come back, both of you. Perhaps. Someday. Adios. He's a remarkable man. I wonder who he is. Lots of folks have asked that question, Miss Houston. Why, well, he's the Lone Ranger. <laughs>